I really believe ATCO Energy infrastructure is uniquely positioned to be a key leader in the area of energy transition. One of the big things we see happening is that climate change is driving corporations, governments, consumers to really demand significant changes in global economies. We set a goal for ourselves of net zero by 2050, but to get there we've set a number of objectives by 2030. Objectives for our own organization, but also objectives to allow us to help our customers achieve their sustainability targets as well. What we see in the world around us is the word hydrogen is becoming more and more popular. We are positioning ourselves to go after hydrogen from a number of different sectors as it allows us to offer different things, different services to different customers. We are looking at a number of opportunities to provide hydrogen for our utilities, hydrogen for our industrials, hydrogen for the transportation sector, but also hydrogen for export. It's a great opportunity for Canada. The ability to develop hydrogen and transport it to Southeast Asia, it's a great opportunity for us. We think of things like liquefied natural gas and how that made economies grow around the world. We think Canada is well positioned to take advantage of that in the areas of hydrogen. We've developed a strategy within energy infrastructure based on three pillars. The first pillar is our base business, energy storage. And that business has been around for a number of years. Businesses like natural gas, liquid storage, natural gas storage. And that's the business that we really have leveraged with regards to our, our assets, but also skill sets like energy marketing, where we go out and we acquire natural gas and electricity, but also we're using that to build into our second pillar, renewable generation. That is leveraging the skill sets we've built with regards to our hydro generation, our natural gas fire generation, and we're going to expand that into the areas of solar and wind generation. They also are very complementary in the areas of battery storage, as well as pumped hydro storage. The third pillar is clean fuels, and clean fuels is really renewable natural gas, but also hydrogen. Very complementary to the renewable business as we look at creating clean hydrogen from renewable generation, but also as we look at developing hydrogen storage, carbon capture and sequestration, so the skill sets we built in our energy storage business are very complementary to allowing us to succeed in the areas of clean fuels. Over the last 12 to 18 months, we have already taken some tangible steps to be successful with our energy transition business. Projects like our solar projects that we've announced in Western Canada, three solar projects generating will, will generate up to 100 megawatts of solar generation. Projects in the clean fuel side of our business it, with regards to our clean energy innovation park in Western Australia, but also a big project that we've announced in the last year, a project or partnership with Suncor. And it's a, it's a very large, hydrogen project meeting the industrial demands, as well as being available for other customers in the Edmonton area. That is really positioning us well to be successful in the area of clean fuels. We're able to offer different things to different customers, which I believe really gives us a strategic advantage over many of our, our peers, many of our competitors, being able to offer that different solutions for different customers.